Thank you for joining us on Calkine TV. I'm Sage. I have some trending news to share with you. During the press conference in Cairns City in Queensland, Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced various plans to boost domestic tourism and related activities. And since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic two years back, the tourism sector has faced many challenges and so much so that the revival of this industry will take a while as forecasted by analysts. No doubt that tourism contributes to the economy and every government makes it their priority to make it do well. Recently, Australia opened its international borders and there are no flight restrictions so that anyone can enter. PM in the press conference discussed the travel restrictions himself regarding COVID would be eased and helping to get more people on planes. Soon the Health Minister will make some announcements regarding COVID-19's pre-testing of passengers boarding aircraft to Australia and cruise shipping begins again on April 17th. However, the Prime Minister continued that the work done to prepare for the cruise sector may finally be put into action. And since Australia was isolated from the rest of the world from the beginning of COVID, it faces many challenges. To combat these challenges, the Australian Prime Minister announced a package of $60 million, which will be for the next two financial years. The Prime Minister emphasised that this would require a dedication to building our tourism industry back up and across the country. $15 million is going directly to tourism tropical North Queensland and $45 million going into Tourism Australia and that will be spread across three activities. There's to be a $5 million focus on business events as well. And the Chair of Tourism Tropical North Queensland, Ken Chapman, thanks the Prime Minister for the funding and having confidence in the region. Prime Minister Scott Morrison encouraged backpackers to come back up north and join with businesses for seasonal work. And with the current strategies and funding in the tourism sector, the Prime Minister also said they are hopeful that Australia's tourism sector will be back on its feet again and dancing to the greatest tunes. Thank you so much for joining us on that report. Hope your day in trading is going well. Keep watching for more of these live expert talks and market insights. Sage here signing off for now.